What would be your DM slide if you did need to give someone a nudge? If I needed to give a nudge, I'd probably be like, yo, like, <laughs> 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 like what, what, like, oh, Bible app oh, do you use? Okay. <laughs> what Bible app do you use? Okay, ask me, what? When was your last date? <laughs> when was my last date? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have a special guest, as you can tell, the big tall man in the video. <laughs> the big Connor! Tall intro, intro yourself. What is up my friends? Um, <laughs> honored to be here. My name's Connor. I was on season 15 of The Bachelorette. I was Boom. also on Bachelor in Paradise. Come on. Um, how how but, did that work? It, it, How'd that work? I'm, I'm still trying to find love, so uh, that's, I think that kind of sums perfect. it up. It's yeah. amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I actually just did a singleness video, and that dropped a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Connor watched it, loved it. I'm just kidding, I have no idea. If I did. did. You guys should check it out if you haven't. Okay, here we go. So I thought as a one-off of the singleness video, we would do a kind of like relationships video, but really just okay. asking Connor what his take is with relationships and uh, all the things. Okay, so the very first question, since going on the show, mm -hmm. because like I can fully relate to this, how has that changed like your dating life and just like how you view relationships and just all of that? Honestly, I don't think it has changed much. Really? Okay, mm -hmm. okay, interesting. I feel like before the show and after I've just taken dating very seriously mm -hmm. and at times, I think I need to be a little more relaxed with like meeting people and being open to going on dates with people. Yeah. Um, and I guess like opening up to people. Yeah. But when it comes to dating, like I'm not gonna commit to someone unless I know that that, like I want to pursue a future with that person, right? right? Like I don't wanna waste Amen. time. Amen, amen, that's a word. Write it down. Amen. <laughs> amen. I mean, you made it pretty far. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, um, <laughs> you, you know, like, you, you get to that point where you're like, okay, I'm about to bring this person home to my family. <laughs> right. Do I see a future with them yeah. after I've spent three hours yeah. with them over two months? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know. Has it changed for you? It has changed for me. For mm -hmm. me, like, dating has always been serious, and I'm actually very, like, I don't know if this is something you picked up, probably, <laughs> from me, but, like, I'm very, um, just not very vulnerable. I do mm -hmm. not trust easily. It takes a lot for me to get to that place. I'm at the point where I'm, like, I won't even go on a date with someone unless, like, I really can kind of already see a future with them, mm -hmm. which, like, sounds a little intense. My life is crazy. It's busy. I have a lot going on. And like, I'd rather be spending time with like my friends or with Jesus than like going on a date unless I could actually see it going somewhere. And then I feel like the date is like enjoyable. And it's not just like this intense like interview where I'm like, I need to find out all these things about mm -hmm. them and I need to know exactly where they stand in this way and this way and this way. I think a lot of people just in dating in general, you, you go get drinks or you go get food, right? Yeah. And that is like a very interview-like setting. Right. You're just sitting at a table talking Across back and forth to each other. Okay, when, interesting. When, when I go on dates, like sure we might go to dinner, but there's always some sort of activity plan. Interesting. Okay, like, so what, gonna, what what is your okay, just lay it out. What's you, like you your, my, Yes, tell me. Typical. Tell me what is your you find a girl you like, how, mm -hmm. where what are you doing? Like what is the date? So my most recent date, we went to dinner. Okay. And then we did an escape room. Great, Great date. Just like, the two of you. Just the two of us. We escaped too. And you escaped. Very impressive. Wow, impressive. I actually recently but, did an escape room. Oh, did you? We failed miserably. It was like a group of four of us and it was not good. But I think that's a really good date because yeah. it's, it's like a teamwork thing. You you know, it's fun, right? See how they handle pressure. Mm -hmm. How to cheat. Exactly. Mini golf is another good Mini one. Mini golf, okay. I've done one walking around the lake in Austin. Okay. I think that's a really good one. Kind of like do something active. Okay, but what you can't do the same moves on other people. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, a different, it's a different experience. Okay, though. true. Okay, the day ends, you yeah. like this girl. So you say bye. You say bye. Mm -hmm. You know, like, do, do you kiss her? That's a good question. On first date, on the very first date, do you kiss her? Usually, I don't intend to. Okay. That's unless right. I feel that's like. That's a good answer. I like that answer. Unless I feel like. The, that it's just there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like that answer. Okay. So then she went home. You went home. Okay. What? What's the plan? Are you gonna call her that night, the next 
day. If, if the date went really well, mm -hmm. I'll probably text her that night. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it's something that I need to think on a little sleep bit. on a little bit. Okay. Which, I think if you need to sleep on it, probably isn't a good sign right. necessarily. Right, totally. I think you kind of know. Um, we we'll probably wait till the next day. Okay, interesting. Yeah. The date can change the outcome because he can be super cool over text and FaceTime, mm -hmm. but then you can hang out and be like, man, like we're just not vibing. Like the but chemistry's not there. I feel like you're the type of person that would want to like know the person in person before, right? This is how I typically go about, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they slide in the DMs. I'm like, he's cute, okay? Gets the number, FaceTimes. If we're like still vibing, we go on on a date. So by that point, I've kind of already felt the like vibe. I know if I'm attracted to them. I know where they stand in their faith. I know like just kind of how their personality is. But the only thing that's missing, of course, is just that like person to person interaction, like the energy, the chemistry. Because some people can be like super weirdly like talkative and normal on the phone, but then in person be like so different. I totally agree. Has that happened to you? Yeah, 100%. But I would say that I'm kind of the opposite. Really? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. This it, is good though. Let's say I do meet someone through, yeah. someone slides in, right? Okay. okay. Let's, let's say she someone slides, slides in. in. If I am interested in that person, mm -hmm. I, I don't really like entertain the small talk, getting to know each other over Instagram DMs or texts mm -hmm. or like phone calls or FaceTimes. You know, if we're interested in each other, like let's just meet. If I'm going to give someone my time and I'm going to like sit down with them for two or three hours, like I want to know that I'm like already interested. That's that's fair. That's fair. I don't do much dating over Instagram or yeah. dating apps or anything like that. Actually, I was banned from a dating app. <laughs> Why? Why? People thought my profile was fake. Honestly, I'm a little sad about it. <laughs> were you finding some good people? Yeah, there were some very nice wow. women that I met okay. on this app. Okay. Um, wow. You know, Hinge, if you would like to <laughs> unban <laughs> me, <laughs> I would appreciate it. So dating apps would work for you? I don't know, that's a good okay. question. So I, is it different than social media though? In my opinion, yes. Wow. Because I feel like on social media, like everyone has social media, like, I mean, I would say at least like 9.9% .9 out of 10, like have it. But like, I feel like not, obviously not everybody's on the dating app. So I feel like you're going out of your way to like get on the dating app, right? To like really look for people. Right now, I just see my life as like, I'm pursuing Jesus. I'm pursuing my dreams. I'm pursuing the things that are right in front of me. And if someone comes alongside and they're like, hey, I like you. And I'm like, hey, I like you. And we decide to do it and like do it together. Like, great. You know what I mean? Yeah. What did your bio say on your, <laughs> on your, on your dating app? What was your bio? Oh, Hi, I'm Connor. I'm like six, four, five, however, six, six, however tall you are. I was on The Bachelor. No, I would, I would never talk I'm really about happy. The Bachelor. I would never talk I like about The Bachelor. Out. Can I write this down? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let me, I'm telling you about your bio. He also likes Justin Bieber for all Big JB fan. Oh, so Baby, switch. Baby is like, you know, that's my song, right? Wow. Family Vacation in Antigua. Yeah. There's karaoke night, right? Oh, God. So the cool. whole- Please come in as a video. Mm -hmm. No video, video no okay. video. But all the siblings, we get up there and they're like, all right, what song should we do? The guys, Baby, come on. <laughs> 100%. So I get the wireless mic, everyone else is like a cord. Yeah. Gets the ludicrous solo. Mm. I know that thing, like the back of my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I jump off the stage into the wow. crowd because I have the wireless mic, right? Just, <laughs> just a full moment. Just absolutely crushing it. Wow, okay. Like, this was my chance to shine, yeah, right? Just sure. finally on the stage, yeah. you know? Nailed it, won the karaoke contest. Yeah. I mean, that's like, that was like my Super Bowl growing up, right? I mean, this is actually what The Bachelor saw and they were like, that, we've got to have that on our show. What would be like something that, whether it's like three things, five things, one thing, whatever, that you absolutely like, have to have in a relationship? I think a lot of people see us from the show and they're like, wow, they must go on dates all the time, right? right? I've, this year, I think I've been on three dates. Yep. Something. And it's not like I don't want to go on a date, <laughs> but it's just I, yeah. like, I. You know, we both take that very seriously, yeah, right? And I'm totally. not going to waste someone's time, and I don't want someone to waste my time. So I don't mean to copy you on this. <laughs> he likes my three P's. I thought about the three P's a lot, yeah, and I was yeah. thinking about it in the drive over here, mm -hmm. and I was, I was like, how can I expand on the three P's a little yep. bit? We'll call it the, the five P's now. Oh, the, snap! Okay, the, so the, the daily five P's. Five P's. Okay, um, so just 
contacts, my three P's were patterns. Patterns, purpose, purpose and peace. And peace. He got it. Okay, so let's see what the two he added on top of patterns, purpose, and peace. So patterns and practices. Mm. I think those kind of go together. Yeah, okay. Preaching those patterns and mm. practices. If you're preaching your practices and your patterns, that shows passion and purpose. Oh! <laughs> he's he's got Let's go. the mic. Let's go. He's preaching. Okay. And then the final thing, actually, yes, it's the six P's. The same <laughs> six P's. The six P's. Um, the final thing is peace. I yes. absolutely agree with that. What is the best relationship advice you've ever been given? Best relationship advice I've ever been given. I think if there is someone you're interested in or someone that you want to talk to or someone that you you know want to get to know better just go do it i think a lot of times we get caught up like overthinking things and getting nervous and all that but at the end of the day if you don't make a move or do something you may regret that down the road you lose out exactly you miss the opportunity exactly 100 okay. percent. so right. you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take right wow that's the whole that's that's that i can relate to uh, yeah, all right yeah. so it's encouraging you if you're watching this video just do it like you literally have nothing to lose i don't think i was expecting that but i like that what okay what were you expecting i don't know what i was expecting but I wasn't expecting yeah, that. You gotta give me something. <laughs> I don't know. Did you ever watch The Office growing up? No, I watched Friends. Friends was like the okay. show. Yeah. I've actually never seen Friends. Okay, second question for you I have. You're on a date and she does this thing and you're just like, ooh, that's good. Like, I like her. Sometimes I think dates can almost be like interviews in a way. And I think sometimes if there's not good conversation there, it turns into an interview. Yep. Like if someone's too quiet, too nervous, right. whatever. Okay. But when they return those questions, they're like, oh, like what, what about you? I love that. Mm -hmm. I think anyone loves that, right? Yeah. Yeah. The other thing, when it comes time, when the, the check comes, I'm right? <laughs> Is, is that a question? Yes, this is a question. Okay, well this is good then. Okay. When, when the check comes, I'm always gonna pay. Okay. But, mm -hmm. for me, if a girl offers to pay, I love that. I Very love that. interesting. I feel it, like most guys aren't like that. Though. It stands out in my head. Cause like for me, I'm just being real, if I ever offered to pay at a date, that means I'm not into that. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. So like, sorry if that happened. <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, you know no, what I mean? I, like, if, if they're like, if they're like, here you go, and they're trying to pay for it, and I'm like, no, 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 it's fine, I got it. That's like me saying like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't see this as a date. If, it, if it's like a first date, or we're like just getting to know each other, no, hmm. I'm not paying for that. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not paying. But for I don't, I don't, think, <laughs> I don't think the expectation is necessarily that you would pay. But I, I. But you just like the offer. Like people that I've asked appreciate the offer. Interesting. I, it's not a deal breaker for me. What about the expectation? that comes with gender roles mm -hmm. what about like opening doors and like flowers things like that like what what's your take on that i love doing that stuff. okay so it's it's I just when it comes to dinner we want <laughs> connor wants a girl to occupy <laughs> ladies listen i feel like I've, on dates that i've been on if you do open their door like their car door for them or whatever mm -hmm. a lot of girls would be like oh wow like thank you no yeah. one like guys don't do this for me. So yeah. I find that really interesting because I think nowadays people don't do that. Right. I think the reason that's really important to me is a couple of relationships I've been in have been very one-sided. Mm. And so I want to know that someone views it as like an equitable relationship. Mm. Gotcha. So that's really important to Okay. Me. So would you say that you have trust issues? Because you said you, your relationship has been very one-sided. Would you say because of that, like you're now very picky getting into relationships and you have a lot of walls up, like you just do not trust easily? I, I don't think it's that I have walls up. Like I'm a very open person, yeah. but I think when it comes time to like commit, I think there is a wall up there for me sometimes. Yep. Yeah. And that is a hundred percent because of past relationships mm. and how those ended. Okay. So question, how would someone earn your trust to me i think it takes communication i think a lot of times in relationships people just expect you to understand them right but you you know we're not like genies right like totally. we, so you, i think communicating is super important the other thing that i just haven't found is that peace right mm, peace it's very important, peace is important. and i think that's the missing puzzle piece for a lot of people because yeah, a yeah, lot of yeah. people have 
the um, the patterns and the purpose, right? Hey! But, He's got my third piece out. But, but they don't, you, you yep. don't have that final no. puzzle piece of That's the, so the true. Piece. So what would you say like that looks like for you? You're in a relationship, it's mm -hmm. going well, but like that piece just isn't fully there. That's a good question. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I haven't fully thought about Whoa. that. Um, okay. Whether I'm with that person or not with that person, mm -hmm. I, I feel at peace and I trust them. Yeah, and yeah. I think especially when you're not with that person, I think that's like a very telling yeah, yeah. sign of how you feel. Yeah. Like if, if you don't feel that same connection right. when you're not with them, right. then I don't think that's right. Or if you have like anxiety, like, oh, I need to text this right. person all day or whatever. Totally. I feel like that's not healthy either. Yeah. So it needs to be a healthy piece of, of just like you, you can go about your life and yeah. And know that that person is there. Have you been in a relationship like that where you've just like you had it all there, but just that piece was fully missing? Mm hmm. Hundred percent. Really? Like the patterns and the purpose was there, and I think there was a little piece, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like the full piece of mind. And I think you kind of learn that as you get older, like yeah. what peace looks like to you. Right. And there were relationships when I was younger where I was just super stressed out all the time. Mm -hmm. And I had all this anxiety of like, oh, yeah. you know, and that's when kind of social media started getting bigger too. So you see right. like photos and who's liking whose photo, right? right? Super unhealthy, super unhealthy. I kind of took a 360 or a 180. I guess from <laughs> what I, yeah I just went right back to <laughs> like, right back in the same spot but no I, I kind of no, took a 180 from that yeah, as yeah. I matured and got older and like yeah. I, I could care less about social media like right. what someone's doing on there you just need to have that foundation that trust and that peace with that person but totally are you currently dating anyone I'm not currently dating anyone no he's not dating not. anybody he's not. Single. single are you ready to be dating I am ready to be dating someone. Okay. Um, timing is important. It is very important. It is very important. So there was a girl that I was hanging out with a little over a year ago, and she was kind of trying to figure out like what she wanted to do with her career, right? And she was very passionate about stuff mm -hmm. and had really great patterns, but she wasn't preaching that to people. Mm -hmm. and big actions guy? <clears throat> I'm a very I'm big a actions big guy. Big actions girl. Very big actions I'm like, I could literally be in a relationship and they could never ever like, say the words I love you, but if they show me that they love me, mm -hmm. that means so much more to me. So I think that's such a good point, that you practice what you preach, that you practice mm -hmm. what you believe, because I think like until you're showing that, like it doesn't mean anything. I think a lot of times in dating, we put a lot of weight on the other person. Mm -hmm. When- Oh, I like this. I think I like we this. need to look internally. Mm -hmm. Yep. One thing, for example, when I came off the show, he was posting a lot of like, pictures in swimsuits and stuff, right? <laughs> oh, and like a lot of the guys do. And it's, yeah. I don't think there was a specific reason for it. I just, I love wearing swimsuits. He likes wearing but swimsuits. But someone, this lady DM'd me one time and it was like a mom. And she goes, this is like the only DM I remember to be honest. She goes, you know, you shouldn't be posting those pictures so much because like, if that's what you're putting out into the world, that's what you're gonna get in return. I love that, that's so good. And I, at first when I saw it, no. You're like, oh, whatever, you don't yeah. know me. But then I like, I thought about it more you. and it's yeah. so true. Yeah. A lot of people like want all these things in a relationship and in a partner, mm -hmm. but if you're not putting that out there yourself, you're not gonna get that. Amen. You know? He is dropping some bars over here. Okay, so I love that point so much. What you're putting out there is what you're gonna attract mm -hmm. every time. So like, if you don't like what you're getting, then like take a look at like what you're giving. Become the person that you're looking for is looking for. Like Definitely. become that right person. If I'm you sure. want to be pursued like a wife, then like that's what you need to be putting out there. Like instead of like putting out there like I'm just this girl like who is just looking for like a casual fling, like then that's what you're gonna be attracting every single time. If you're like, hey, like I am ready to be a husband, I'm ready to settle down, I'm ready to find my wife, then like yeah, maybe we we decrease the bathing suit pictures. <laughs> That's what we learned. We decreased the bathing suit pictures. My opinion is I'm never gonna meet someone that I want to date out at a bar. Good I don't. Point. I don't personally drink that much. Same if point. I do go, like yeah. maybe I'll have one drink, and it's probably because a friend won't made me go out, right? Yeah. Um, so if I'm meeting someone there, unless they happen to be in that same situation, which is rarely the yeah. case, yeah. we're not gonna right. be on that same level. You're like, not gonna find your wife in a bar. Yeah, exactly. And this isn't like throwing any shade at the bar. This is just saying like, oh, like in the environments that you're looking for to like push you to help you become who you were meant to be and reach what God has put on your life, like 
you want to find those people in the right environment. So what does that look like for you? Where would you even find her? I'd probably say like Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> Whole Foods, okay. <laughs> no, I'm um, <laughs> every I'm every girl in Austin is going to start shopping no, at Whole no, Foods. No, no, no. <laughs> They're going to be so um, cute. I think yeah. a lot of people turn to dating apps because yeah. of that. Because mm -hmm. you don't know where to look. Right. And I've gone through that before. Like, right. it's like oh, I've been single for forever, right? Totally. All my friends are getting married. Like, where am I supposed to look? But I think it's like, okay, if you look at things that you're passionate about and that relate to your patterns and your purpose and all that stuff, you immerse yourself in those things. Yeah. So maybe for someone that might be, hey, I love doing yoga, right? Like, let me go do a bunch of yoga. Do yoga. And like, okay. You know, I mean, not necessarily the, <laughs> the end of the, the right. answer, right. but like. But that. just the things that you're passionate about, like go to where like mm -hmm. you feel inspired, or you feel like fulfilled exactly. or I think that's a great answer because like for me I would always answer it too like like my faith is so important to me and so like you know finding someone and they're not always going to be like at the church but like finding someone in some type of environment where I'm seeing their faith being practiced you're not going to church to find totally. someone to date totally. you're going to church because that's something that you, is very important yes. to you right right but there are people there that 100%. also that is very important to them right. and you can connect with them and maybe right. that will grow into a relationship. Totally. In today's world, like so often we're just like hoping that someone will come and like find us and we're just like hoping that these people will just show up at our door like, hey, wanna be friends? I can knock you on our door. I'm like, does it work <laughs> like that? And so it's like you have to set yourself up for success. Like put yourself in environments where you're gonna be able to find those people that can share similar like passions and visions and faith or whatever it is for you. Sometimes loneliness can be a good thing if you use that time to like really figure out who you are. But I don't think you were made to do life alone. So I don't mm -hmm. think that you're made to just like have this pity party and like sit alone at home and just be like, dang it, like I have no friends. Like I think it requires action. Like I think it requires like you have to step out of your comfort zone sometimes and like put yourself in environments to find good people. So I think dating as much as it is like a, a team effort, mm -hmm. it's very individual too. I need to be my best self. And when you put those vibes out there, that, hey, I'm crushing it. Right. Yeah, and, anyone can attest to this. When you're doing that, you're not even worried about dating right. and how single you are. That's when you find the person that you Oh, need. that's so 100%. true. I think that that's so important because I think when you get so fixated on it, like I think mm -hmm. when you're like, I have to find this person, I have to find this person, you almost become so discontent with where you are because you're so focused on being there. And I think that you almost play this trick in your mind where you're like, okay, the grass is greener on the other side. Like I need to be there to find contentment, to find happiness, to find belonging, to find peace. Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, like take this time, like you said, to just like focus on you and go wholeheartedly after like what's in front of you and in this like season and just be like fully present. When you go at your pace. Another pee. Woo! Another pee. Oh, it's another pee. I love pace. We're not like a hundred pees by the <laughs> When you are going at your pace yeah. and you're putting out those vibes, you'll attract the right totally. people. I love that. Mm -hmm. Just go at your pace, go at your speed, stay in your lane, do you, and the right person will come. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun. Did you have fun? I did have fun. Did I put you on the spot too much? Or did you feel like it was good? I felt like it was good. Good. I, I feel, feel like it was, was good. good. I feel like we got a lot covered like I feel like we talked about a lot mm -hmm. and hopefully it was relatable to you who, who was watching it because I feel like we covered a wide spectrum I feel like you dropped some bars you mm -hmm. had a lot of wisdom and you shared some really great things so thank you thank you I for being you're, you're like my first well Janine but other than Janine you're, like, very you're honored. my first guest I'm like, very very honored to be honest um, um, but you dropped a lot of bars too I? I feel like you have a lot of wisdom to offer the world so Aww, thanks I'll well, be a frequent viewer of this channel. <laughs> he subscribed to the I too. Subscribe. <laughs> I subscribe. No, to everyone me. check it out. I'm crying. No, that's amazing. But yes, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope it was helpful. We love you guys. We believe in you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. Mwah. Bye, guys. Woo! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad at surprise face. Okay. No, no, no. You look at the camera. Okay. And you're smiling. You look really big. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be holding my coffee or no? Ah, uh, whatever. Talk about our relationship. Maddie's in love with me, so I think she's, she's, she's oh hoping that oh I- Oh my god. Okay, um, no.